Hey guys, welcome to RDTV. Thank you very much for tuning in. My name's Paul Jeffrey, and today we're driving the Wave Italy Impetus Monza Sim Pedals Pro, where we're going to share with you our thoughts and experiences on these high end sim racing pedals. Based in Moto Valley and Marinello, at the heart of Ferrari territory, Wave Italy combine real-world Formula 1 experience with a typical Italian flair for design. Crafting top-tier sim racing products that utilise high-quality materials in an effort to recreate a real-world driving experience for our home simulators, Wave Italy are currently producing the impetus range of pedals we are looking at today. Wave also offer for sale the stunning looking Wave Impact Formula 1 style wheel, a highly detailed and well crafted sim racing wheel that I have had the pleasure of driving on a couple of occasions at the recent sim racing expo. Although centred firmly on sim racing and eSport products, Wave Italy have also developed the incredibly impressive Phoenix Pro Motion Simulator, a Formula 1 style motion rig that combines immersive and informative motion dynamics wrapped up in a Formula 1 style body shape. Again, I had the opportunity to try this out at the last couple Sim Racing Expo events. And trust me, you get plenty hot and sweaty alongside a very big smile when you try this piece of kit for yourself, an absolutely massively enjoyable racing experience. So let's have a look at the Wave Italy Impetus Monza Sim Pedals Pro. I've had these in my possession for quite a while now as I was curious to find out how they last under sustained long term use. I'm sure many of you watching today can relate when I say hardware inevitably declines over time. Developing creaks, squeaks and groans are a particular pitfall of sim racing pedals and I'm both surprised and pleased to say this hasn't been an issue with the Impetus Monza Sim Pedals Pro. With basically zero maintenance applied, the pedals still look, run and sound exactly as they did when I first installed them on my rig. That being said comes my first word of warning. These are heavy duty, hardcore pedals. As such, you will need a suitably robust rig on which to run them. This is a pitfall I fell foul of when I first got hold of the pedals as I had to upgrade to a sturdier 80-20 aluminium profile solution. Made from cast and anodized aluminium, the Wave Impetus Monza Sim Pedals Pro boasts an impressive brake operating pressure performance of 200 kilograms with a maximum force on the pedal of around 100 kg which is more than enough to simulate the forces from a wide range of real-world racing cars. Taken into perspective, the highly regarded Huskenveld Sim Pedal Sprint allow a maximum of 64kg and the Sim Pedals Pro from Huskenveld top out at around 136kg. In terms of adjustability, as you can see the pedal deck has a range of different mounting choices and you also have the option of an additional Imola inversion kit for an extra €330. Euros. The pedals themselves can be tailored to suit your own tastes, with both the throttle and clutch featuring a quick and easy to use firmness adjuster, which for me is highly appreciated as I regularly find other pedal sets fail to give me enough throttle resistance to really allow the final level of throttle manipulation I need in order to drive consistently quickly. Of course we are running the 3 pedal set, complete with the optional Monza adjustable base plate, but the unit can be purchased as either a 2 pedal set, with or without the Monza or optional Imola inversion kit depending on your particular mounting needs. Further in the spirit of customization, the Wave Impetus Monza Sim Pedals Pro also come in a range of colours. The set we are using today are obviously red, because it's Italian and it would be rude not to, but you can also order them in a choice of green, yellow, blue or orange, depending on your own personal preference. One of my initial concerns surrounded the admittedly stylish looking electronic control unit. I was initially a little concerned about how exposed the delicate connections are and running the risk of catching them and causing damage to the unit. 
These concerns have already been addressed by Way of Italy, with the company replacing the Bodner unit currently found on my set with an enclosed unit of their own design and construction. As an added bonus, the Wave unit employs an upgraded 16-bit sensor, capable of 60,000 points of pedal resolution, which is a nice boost in performance while removing what is one of the only design risk factors of my opinion. Of course, feeling is an entirely subjective matter, and each driver will know what their hardware likes and dislikes are. But for me and my time with the Wave Italy Impetus Monza Sim Pedals Pro has become like with a dear friend. Through time, perseverance, patience and shared experiences, we bonded in a way that I didn't think possible when initially bolting these pedals onto my rig. I've been a lucky boy in recent years, having had the opportunity to try out many different pedal sets across the price spectrum. Some have impressed me greatly and all of their own good and bad points. But for me, especially relating to the throttle feel, these pedals are absolutely right towards the very top of the pile. In closing, there are many things I really like about the Wave Italy Impetus Monza Sim Pedals Pro. But like all quality products, these things come at a premium price. The pedals we're reviewing today come in at €1,586, Euros, including the Monza base plate that we've got on this set, pitching these pedals slap bang in the middle of, of the high-end price bracket of racing accessories. The three pedal set that we're using today without the Monza stand comes in at €1,500. Euros. You can also buy the version with the Imola inversion kit and a two pedal set for a lower price, of course. Now these prices are premium, I realise that it is very much at the top end of most sim racers budget, but I can confidently say from the high end pedals that I've driven before, these are a very comparable unit and choice will eventually come down to end user preference between the various solutions that are on the marketplace and available today. Will they make you faster? Maybe. Will they make you more consistent? almost certainly. Will they make you happy? Well, I can't speak for you, but I can speak for myself. I am enormously satisfied with these pedals and absolutely love them. Now, coming on to the end of the program, we're going to do a quick pros and cons about the Wave Italy Impetus Monza Sim Pedals Pro. On the pro side, you have Plug and play, USB compatibility straight into the PC, works without needing to download any drivers and can be adjusted within the system. Looks, these are a very good looking, well designed set of pedals. Look really attractive on the rig and compared to some of the options out there, they're a very neat and well packaged product. Build quality, made from high end products these are strong, robust, and in my testing, have stood the test of time really, really well. Adjustability. You can adjust both the stiff and firmness of the pedals, their positioning, and the angle. It has all the adjustability I personally need. Pedal feel. The brake, very good on its own accord. 100 kilograms of strength can be used, which is fine. But what I really like is the feeling I have under the throttle, which is a marked improvement on many of the pedal sets I've driven up to this point. Smoothness. These pedals are incredibly smooth. The mechanism is very nice indeed, and it's something that I've been greatly impressed with throughout my time using them. Now moving on to the cons. The biggest one has to be cost. At over 1,500 euros for a set, these are enormously expensive pedals and put themselves right in a competitive marketplace around that price point. A very big ask for someone to spend that kind of money without having the opportunity to try them for themselves. They are expensive, but they are good quality pedals. And speaking of quality, weight is the other con. These are heavy duty pedals requiring a lot of force and as such 
will need to be mounted to an appropriately strong rig. Maybe not so much a con as such, as I would expect people paying this kind of money will have reasonably heavy duty rigs anyway, but certainly one that's worth mentioning here on the video. And that, ladies and gentlemen, pretty much sums up our overall impression of the Wave Italy Impetus Monza Sim Pedals Pro. I've had these, like I say, for a very long time now, really enjoyed every minute of them, and I hope this video has been interesting and useful to you. Please do hit that subscribe button, click the little bell notification to be informed when we're posting other videos, and more importantly, stay sim racing, enjoy sim racing, come visit us at racedepartment.com, we're on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube of course as you're watching now, and check out the Race Department podcast on all good podcast providers of choice. My name's been Paul, this has been Race Department TV, I hope you've enjoyed our show, till next time, see you later, ta -ra.